Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. Hope everybody's well. Uh, Libra, the universe has decided that you are next for the September reads, so we're just going to get right into it. This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with a message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. It's thrown down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind. Time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Energy of friends, the cross watchers are always welcome at the first sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate you coming by to hang out with little old me while I'm working through this. I'm pretty sure a tree branch just landed on my roof, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. While you're here, if you'd like to hit the subscribe button and notification bell, if you think we're getting along, that'd be awesome. Hit the like button while you're at it. That'd be super cool. It all helps the channel and it is greatly appreciated. Okay. A couple more shuffles. Before I invoke the cards, throw them down for you. There's a couple things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And by life-altering, I mean if it's going to jack up your universe, I highly suggest that you go inside and you sort that out for yourself and don't take the advice of a deck of cards. Mine or anybody else's. It's just good common sense. I mean, you know, if you so choose. Do what you want. Do you. By all means, do you. But, yeah. I, I'm the voice of experience here. I have taken the advice of the cards before and mm, you know universe energy shift things of that nature so but don't be all wishy-washy about it either anyway Libra oh two it's not your reading not your story not your message leave the cards on the table and walk away it's that easy it might not be your message so all right Heavenly Father, Mother, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to accurately and clearly bring Libra to their highest possible spiritual good and their highest possible spiritual path. Libra, why are you here? The Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Oh, that's the walk. Taking the walk, contact and source, spending some time with you, reflection, introspection. What happened? Six of Swords reversed. Something returned. Something returned. Okay. Very general. Could be a person, could be a situation. Current energy, Knight of Pentacles. That's an offer. Either you're extending an offer to someone or someone's extending an offer to you. It's the future, the sun reversed. Oh, that's a cloudy day. Hmm. Outcome. High Priestess reversed. Wounded Ego. Oh, snap. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, first card out this is Virgo. We'll use the Earth Sign deck for the energy or situation of who or whatever you're dealing with, Libra. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Can I please get the energy? Of the person or situation that Libra is dealing with for September 2021, please. And one more. Hey now, make me have to do it again. It's going to make me have to do it again. They didn't reveal themselves to me, so I'm not going to look at them.
Well, I think I have the Chromebook back far enough where it's not going to shake every time I shuffle, but this table makes a whole lot of noise. Everything will be fine once I get back, you know, get to the other end of the house and have my area set up there and all things in time, guys, all things in time. Okay. Past four of wands. Oh, wow. That's a celebration. That's the... This is the happiness card. This is celebration. It's the 1111. It's the connection. It's foundations. Okay. Judgment. Oh. Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups reversed. Oh my. So there's a very strong connection here. I'm thinking for reals. Even with that High Priestess in the reverse, the Judgment and the Four of Wands, there's a connection here. I think y'all be energetically up in each other's shit. I think you're the one extend who is extending the offer. Remember, time's fluid, so by present month of September ish it's still August as I read this so time is fluid just keep that in mind They don't want to shuffle. I think I'm going to do this once. They're fighting me. I don't want the cards to fight me, so they're just saying on with it. Came out without me asking a question. The world. Something coming to a close. When something comes to a close, new cycles begin. It's the Wheel of Fortune with a few soulmate cards. It could be karmic. Did you call back on a karmic? Did a karmic call back you? I don't know. Call back you. Wow, I can't even talk today. Did a karmic call you back? Are we revisiting something? Now they're going to shuffle for me. Okay. That's better. Hermit came back out. Why are you in hermit mode? A swords. Because you got something to think about. Potential for a new start, possibly with another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Five of Pentacles reversed. You might want to come out of the cold with this person. Maybe this person wants to come out of the cold with you. Can I ask a question? Why is the sun reversed here? I'm not even going to go in order. Why is the sun reversed here? That is swords reversed. Communication is going to get cut off in the future. Are you the one cutting it off or did they cut it off? Hmm. Who's cutting off communication in the future? No wonder. Throw one in the Ace of Pentacles, please. Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> feel like they're just going to go off and do their own abundance journey. 
Independence. One plus nine is ten. They could be extremely money focused in the future. Hmm. 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 I know. Why did you clarify the future? Because. Because. It spoke to me first. That's why. It spoke to me first. We'll revisit that in a second. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Three of Cups. First three on the board. Y'all know how I feel about threes if you've been hanging around for a minute. First three on the board. It's friendship. Somebody may have returned or you returned to them just to be friends. Nine of Swords, though. I think this might have thrown somebody for a loop. Put somebody into some anxious energy. Maybe that's why you're all in hermit mode. I'm feeling like this was kind of a what the hell. <laughs> what the hell? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The star. Oh gosh. You know, the star, the star comes after the tower. It's the healing. It's the realigning. It's the, I want to make this right. That feels like a big fat apology to me. That's huge. Somebody wants to make things right, but then, then all of a sudden communication gets cut off. Are you bringing in the healing or are they? Maybe you could end up cutting off communication when you find out that they just want to be single and they want to work on their own abundance. I don't know. Let's tap into here. Why is the four of ones here? Why the four of ones? Magician reversed. Mmm. Four of Wands reversed. They weren't able to manifest stability. May oh, I'm fe I'm feeling like they returned to try to manifest stability because they couldn't, couldn't out on their own, or they couldn't with someone else. Maybe they went off to manifest and just, yeah, nine of wands. Four plus nine is 13. One plus three is four. One more go around. The wounded warrior rises up out of the ashes. Could have been the ashes of a tower. The star card did show up. I haven't seen a tower yet, but I'm just saying, if you watch the story of the tarot, the fool's journey, hmm, why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Talk to me about judgment, please. Did you see how they flipped? Did you see that shit? <laughs> Judgment, the six of cups and temperance. Someone is currently trying to raise the dead to clear energies with you, Libra. Because <laughs> they, they, they miss you. They miss the good times. They want to bring in the healing. Aww. Aww. Could be a Sag you're dealing with. You could have Sag in your chart. I also have Aquarius. I got Virgo. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Then you get to that. And I'm kind of glad I clarified that first. 
Okay, so... What the shit? Libra. So they came back to try to clear the energies, bring the healing, and all of a sudden you're not talking? And somebody just decides they want to go off and be independent. How do we get from point A to point B? I mean, I, with this Three of Cups, I strongly feel like somebody just wants to extend the friendship. Like an offer of friendship. Like, I don't know if we can be romantically involved, but let's just try being friends. Let's take things slow and see where they go. I want to heal things with you. I miss you. I want to clear the air. That's what this feels like. Libra, I don't think you've taken too kindly to that. I'm going to throw one more on this Knight of Swords. Why the Knight of Swords reversed? On top of the Sun reversed. Justice, Ace of Cups reversed. Wow. You're going to bring down the Mighty Sword of Justice because they spilled your cup? You're going to cut them out? What? What? Oof. Oof. Why the Nine of Pentacles on top of the Ace of Pentacles? The Hermit. They just need to be single for a while because they have their own inside shit they gotta work out, Libra. You're doing it right now. Some tells me this, whatever this return was had you all like, what the fuck? Maybe some time went by. <laughs> this could have been like sudden. Oh, by the way, I miss you. Could have been out of the blue. Yeah, they, they got some shit they gotta work out. All right, what's the outcome? What's the outcome? Why the high priest just reversed for Libra's side for the outcome? Six of Wands. Oh, well. Oh, well. High priest is reversed in the Six of Wands. That's a little bit of an ego trip. I'm feeling ego trip, Libra. Huge ego trip. One more. The Six of Wands comes after the Five of Wands, which is the argument. Six of Pentacles. Oh, gosh. Six of Pentacles reversed, really? Huge ego trip. I'm not going to invest if you're not going to invest. Fine. I'm not going to put any energy into this if you're not going to put any energy into this. Damn. Why the King of Cups reversed for their side leaf? It wands. Emotional closing off. Fast moving messages. Fast forward movement. Sun reversed. Six of Swords reversed again. Super weird. If they end up making an exit, which usually the Hermit kind of makes a little bit of an exit sometimes, you know, because he's walking his path, doing his, his inner work, you know, Introspection. Introspection is the word. Introspection. They're going to come back. Six of Swords reversed. Trying to stay out of the choppy waters. Hmm. Four of Swords reversed. Prince of Wands reversed. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Two of cups, two of cups. For those of you who are a little bit restless about the idea of settling down with something new, I wouldn't be. 
Don't let that make you restless and cause you not to move forward. Four of Cups are okay. Five of Swords reversed. Five of Swords reversed. The Five of Swords is the avoidable argument. If you have a little spat, it doesn't quite go the way you want it to go. Um, when this person tries to extend that apology, be kind. I wouldn't ignore them. Take, take the cup for what it is and what it means to you. If you choose not to put any energy into it, that's fine. But you no longer reserve the right to be emotionally hung up at that point. Seven of Cups. Ten of Swords. Queen of Cups reversed. Oh boy. I'm feeling like somebody feels like they got stabbed in the back. I'm getting that feeling because they didn't get picked. So they emotionally close themselves off to it. Don't do that. You have to allow yourself to feel that pain. And you have to allow that painful process to end. And you should probably allow that painful process to end before you go shopping for new cups. All right, Libra. Closing it out. Okay? Oh. You have to allow for the death cycle. Death reversed. If you don't allow the death cycle, whatever growth that you're supposed to do from this experience doesn't occur. So allow yourself to feel your growing pains, Libra. All right. I'm going to check out. Have a wonderful September. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, possibly, probably more than likely for like a mid month, maybe another bonus round. I'm thinking bonus round. We'll see how froggy I feel once my son goes back to school. And most definitely for the uh, weekly reading on Sunday night into Monday morning. So much love. Be blessed. Thanks for stopping by. And I will catch you next time.